Ice can be a problem for all cars, but for electric cars like the all-new iPace it poses an even greater threat. EVs rely on power from batteries, which are essentially chemical reactions, and a simple grasp of GCSE chemistry will tell you they're vastly influenced by temperature. It's an issue that electric cars already face. Don't believe me? Head over to the Tesla website, and you'll see that temperature is a major factor when calculating range. The lower the temperature, the lower the miles you'll get from your EV. This variable range effect isn't too bad for EV owners in countries with milder climates, but in those with colder ones it can have a serious effect. So how do you ensure customers around the world get the same projected 300 mile range from their electric SUV? If you're Jaguar, you design a system that keeps the batteries at their optimum temperature at all times, and then you test it in one of the coldest places you can find. To find out just how Jaguar manages to do it, we drove the iPace at Jaguar Land Rover's cold weather test facility in our Jeplog, Sweden, where temperatures plummet as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. But first the tech. Lithium-ion batteries need to be kept at the temperature of a warm bath, and the iPace uses a mixture of heating and clever thermal diversions to keep them at their sweet spot. The car's air conditioning unit and heater do most of the heavy lifting, cooling or warming the batteries to the correct temperature, when needed. But, the iPace is also able to divert waste heat to the batteries too, saving energy on heating in the process. What's more, the Jaguar can heat or precondition its batteries when it's being charged too, saving power for when you're on your way. As you'd expect from an EV, these systems are entirely controlled by the car's ECU and software, though unlike Tesla, Jaguar says it's not looking at updating the firmware anytime soon. Take a look at pictures of Jaguar's all-electric iPace. And it looks like a tall, wide, SUV. But in reality it's a far more low-slung, sporty affair than the odd JPEG suggests. The iPace looks aggressive in the flesh, with minimal overhangs and a scuppled it, sloping roof adding to its athletic stance. In person, the idea of Jaguar iPace Trophy Series makes much more sense. It's clear the iPace has all the urgency of an EV, with very little of the drawbacks you'd usually get at this size. With traction control on in precarious conditions, the iPace is tame, but turn off all the gizmos, and you'll find the Jaguar is still able to provide enough feedback and response to make braking traction and spinning up the rears enjoyable.